Hey everybody, it's Matt the Christmas City Picker here. I was just doing a quick video. Uh, I didn't get to really many sales this weekend. Um, it rained Saturday morning, go figure. And by the time it cleared up, it was later in the afternoon and there was nobody really around at any yard sales. So uh, I did go out thrifting for a little bit. Found a couple of little things, nothing really major. But I figured what I'd do today is I grabbed two, I grabbed a tote in a bag that's, that's tied up here. Uh, from one of the, uh, the lockers that I bought at auction. I'll, uh, I'll post a quick snippet of that. Uh um, had tons of stuff. I still haven't gone through everything. So I figured what I'll do is just go through it on video, see if we find anything. All right, if, uh, if you guys see anything that I miss, uh, feel free to uh, let me know what you see. All right, we'll get this out of the way first. This glass is in there. Let's see. Let's put that. Okay, that's a dirty band-aid. So that's gonna go in the garbage. Okay. This looks like some. Okay, looks like a some a little bit of everything. All right, so looks like we have some makeup here. Makeup proteins. These things can actually go for. I got to count the prices on these. Eyelash pencils are going to good bin. So we'll check that out. Uh, looks like, see if you can see here, looks like a, uh, mice have been eating at that. So uh, don't know. So I just got to be a little bit more careful about just reaching in here. Nothing in this old coin purse. Always check the pockets. Always check the pockets. Uh, okay, old linen, old ace bandage. Let's get some of that stuff out of the way. All right, a wooden box. Hinges are on that side. So. Nothing in it, but it's a cool hand-carved little wooden box. It's definitely vintage. Um, you know, I'll probably hold on to that for now. See if I can find some comps on it. If I do find some comps on it, I'll pop it up on the screen here if I can. And uh, if not, take it to the flea market yard sale. All right, I know what these are. Remember, my late aunt used to. Always have one of these made in Italy though. It's a cigarette case. It looks like I'll see if I can clean that. I don't think it looks like that's actually rubbed raw. Like the the color and stuff's off. So that's probably won't be something good to keep. What did I just crush? Just a piece of plastic. Yeah, uh, I don't think I'll be able to salvage that. A little clutch baronet genuine cowhide nothing in there, but it's in pretty good shape. I think if I clean this up, uh, rubbed here too again. Darn it. Don't mind my hernia belt. <laughs> That's uh, something I have to have surgery on soon. Old vintage foam rollers. Uh, don't think those are worth a keep. Okay, we'll touch that last. Looks like it was something for uh, jewelry making. Alright, here we go. Let's see what these actually are. Now, people... Believe it or not, actually pay for some vintage pens and pencils. Howells and Furnishing. This is something from Texas. Funny, because we're not in Texas. It's a milkman. Oh, this is a pen from a milkman. You can tell this is old just because it doesn't have the area code on it. And I forgot to turn my notifications off. So. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. There was a bug upstairs, and my wife needed me to remove it. All right, some pencils. Look at those kids can always use those at school. Uh, some more of that vintage advertising. Santa Fe, Santa Fe, California. I don't know why she had those, but whatever. I'm glad she did. We can check them out. All right, another bag. This is cracking apart. It's so old. All right, I see a little bit of mouse poop. So just have to be careful with that. Okay, it's. Get this bag out of here. This is Epsom salt. Just Epsom salt. I don't think vintage Epsom salt is worth anything. Sorry, this one's a bust. <laughs> uh, but there is this box here. So let's, let's tilt it to the side. There we go. So let's just move this and then move the bin. 
shall we? Alright. Alright. Let's use the camera a little bit, huh? Alright, so this... This is all kinds of jewelry pieces. I don't know if it doesn't look... I don't really know much about costume jewelry, but this is not... Double mint gum? Earrings? <laughs> Alright, that's odd. That's, that's, let's hold on to those. I mean, anything like pin... Okay, this is all weird. These, def these aren't earrings. I don't know what they actually are. Charms? Juicy fruit? Band-Aids? Pepsi bottle? Favorite Pepsi bottle? I don't know what you call those. Charms? I don't know what they would be charms for, but... Daffy Duck. A Daffy Duck. Barrette? Bugs Bunny, Barrette, a mouse, that doesn't look This will take a little bit to go through. Christmas, costume jewelry. I don't think there's going to be any precious metals in here just because nothing, I mean, why would you store it the way it was stored in a tote like that? Alright, you know, I'll go through that. Alright everybody, I think this was a bust for this tote. I apologize, we'll find some more. Alright, let's just get this out of the way. Alright, we'll keep these, check in on these things, the value of these. Like vintage Looney Tunes, which is always good. Always good to check the price on that. Alright, so, next we'll check the bag. Okie dokie, there we go. Okay, so this looks like, just by first glance, it has... Let's go, let's, let's glass, not plastic. I mean, China. Some, uh... Garnet Red Goblets. Check on those for you. Alright, glasses case. Sunglasses. Grand Prix, but what's the maker? I mean, they're definitely vintage. Taiwan, Republic of China. So I guess Grand Prix might be the maker. It's not a very good quality. I know you can't really see it that easily here, but it's pitting and kind of like losing its... losing the luster there. So that's rubbing off. So it's not good, but we'll check on that. All right, another one of those. Hold on a second here. Alright, ooh, troll doll, rust troll doll, we found a couple troll dolls already, I kept some of them, some of them were eagles. Alright, these are more sunglasses, nothing really to write home about, cheapy, dollar store style. Those in the there. Ah, here we go, famous Ohio Indians, this is a this glass. I've seen these before, I don't remember what they're called. Um, Little Turn, Miami. That was the that was the tribe. So I will uh, I will Google the price on that. I will we'll we'll find that out. I'll put that up on the screen. Ah, another one. Famous Ohio Indians. White Heist from the Delaware tribe. People, if you haven't yet uh, Google Lens is amazing. Huh. Martini glass. Okay, that's why there's sweatpants in here. Drinking glass. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And there's some paper that was eaten. Okay, you definitely have to definitely have to wash your hands. If you ever buy uh, storage units and you can see mouse poop, just make sure to thoroughly wash your hands after you 
clearly wash your hands after you handle anything. You don't want to catch anything. Okay, so these, goblet. There's a whole set here. So we have four. Six or seven of seven of the drinking glasses, four of the of the wine goblets, one martini glass, and two of the Indians. Nothing else in there. Front pocket. Always check the pockets. Okay, that was quite a bust, huh? All right, I apologize. <laughs> I thought there was going to be something a little bit better, but you never know. Let me Google. Let me check the prices on the um, on the Indians glasses, and we will get right back. All right, I just looked uh, on Google Lens uh, for some of these things, and these uh, these Indians of Ohio glasses actually are around ten dollars a piece uh, plus shipping, so that's not too bad. Um, these vintage ruby red uh, glass tumblers um, are about, even though they're made in China, uh, they are vintage. Uh, it looks like these are going about six bucks a piece, so I could probably just slot up, you know, the the seven of them, just say forty dollars, and you know call that a day uh, for shipping. I didn't really check the rest of the stuff, but this is just kind of, all right, doesn't look like these are worth that much. I'd say it looks like four bucks a piece. So I'm just gonna lot two of these together, uh, set, sell for eight bucks plus shipping, or $10 free shipping, first first class envelope, not a problem. So, there you go. so we got a little bit out of that. Uh, I'm gonna have to look through some of that, the vintage jewelry or costume jewelry, see what we have. Um, all I actually brought in today I, it was a busy day so I didn't have that much but all in all so let's say between the two totes we have about 60 bucks that we know of so far so it's not that bad I mean we already made our money back with the locker $60 per tote if you could average that out we're gonna we're gonna triple our money on, on the locker so it shouldn't be that bad but uh, it's gonna be a bunch of piece by piece things unlike the um, other locker that I got that I spoke about that I got on an offer, um, this HD camcorder actually sells for $700 with this handle, which is actually optional because this handle controls a microphone that you can put on here, so that boosts the price up. This this camera is Wi-Fi enabled. It has uh, it has uh, night vision, so <laughs> uh, dual SD cards. I, I'm just going to sell it with uh, two long life batteries and a charger and it's this thing is this thing is legit when it comes to when it comes to camcording so that's a that's a nice seven hundred dollars that's more than the price of the locker easily uh, just on that so that locker I already made the money back uh, working on towards doubling it and then uh, I think we'll probably get about four times the the price on that so we should we should do pretty well with uh, what we picked up last week um, I think I will end it for now. Uh, we will try another tote or two tomorrow uh, on whatnot. I have a uh, sale coming up on Wednesday. I'm going to do the wrestling figures that, that I had. I think I'm going to try those at um, at, sud at Sudden Death. I haven't done Sudden Death yet uh, on whatnot. We're going to give a shot. Uh, my buddy John from Severe Thrifters actually did a, a Sudden Death today, and it, it went pretty well. It, it, it seems like everybody tries to snipe everybody at the end. And uh, so it's like for the first 30 seconds, you have nothing. And then the last second, boom, you have, have a couple. So um, I, will, I will try that on Wednesday. I will also do a podcast if I can on Wednesday. Um, and then, uh, you know, figure some other things out. See what I can get this week, and, and we'll, we'll make another one soon. All right? Well, that's it for today, today, everybody. Have a great day and a better tomorrow. See ya!